one of your uh, general impressions on, on BYU's offense. When you see them, what, what kind of stands out about what, what they're doing? Um, schematically, a lot of pre-snap movement, shifts and motions. They give you a lot of fly, fly sweep type stuff to mess with your force and try and get people's eyes in the wrong spot. So you got to be really disciplined pre-snap. Great communications, critical, and they're very, very physical. Uh, obviously, their O-line and run game tight ends are accomplished, and, and they're making plays on the perimeter. The quarterback's a, a veteran guy that's played a lot, uh, does a really nice job, so it'll be a, it'll be a great challenge. Are you impressed with what they were able to do to Arizona with yeah. their offensive line? Yeah, they did a really good job, and they moved, moved them off the ball and were efficient, you know, getting the ball up and down the field. So. The early impressions of their running back of uh, Squally, Squally Canada. Canada. Yeah, he's a talented guy. I mean, runs hard and you know can make somebody miss. So yeah, he did. A, he did a nice job. I was asking about uh, Evan Weaver earlier in the week. He said this may have, this week one may have been his best game. What, what kind of stood out to you about the way the way he played? He played really physical. Um, he's got a good understanding of what we're doing. You know, moving to the position last year in fall camp, he was. You know, trying to get lined up, and he he could always he could always run. He's got good straight line speed, and he's always a physical guy. Um, you know, Weaves the type of guy if he gets his hands on you, he, he can usually get people on the ground. And so um, that showed up in the game. But he just played, you know, real real clean, and it was great to see him finish the plays that he did. And so I expect him to continue to play well. With what happened to Cam Good? What do you guys need to see out of Alex Funches as the season goes on? Uh, Alex just needs to keep improving and uh, no different you know Cam's injury doesn't affect Alex. Alex needs to keep improving for Alex and we need the other guys that are going to have opportunities uh, to, to play more to, to do the same. Yeah. I was trying to think back about Evan moving from end to outside to inside. What did you see kind of in him that made you say, say oh hey, this, he can play inside? Uh, he's got good instincts. Mm -hmm. um, even when he moved in there last year he uh, even though he didn't really have a you know, especially in fall camp and early in the season, didn't have a you know a total grasp of the defense yet. But once you got him lined up, he had good instincts on where the play was going. And then once again, he was a good finisher. Once he got his hands on people, he could get them on the ground. So yeah, and he runs. You know, Evans got good straight line speed. What do you think about their uh, tight end group? I know they used five different guys. Yeah, uh, again, accomplished tight end group and run and pass game. They're physical in the run game, and then. You know the play action and the overs and the, uh, you know, get down the field on you. So it's a, it's a really good group of tight ends for sure. Given all the pre-snap stuff they do, um, is this going to be a different kind of test for your for your front group than what you saw with Carolina? Um, I mean, everybody presents challenges, and they're just you know each each offense schematically gives you different issue, issues, and and these guys uh, are, are very very physical, and they do uh, a lot of shift in motion, and so you got to be great communicators. Was it helpful to go up against a big D-line like UNC and then you know have another nice mm -hmm. test like that? Is that helpful to have kind of those two? I mean, I, yeah. I mean, it, we're, we're going to play good defenses all year, and um, it's a little bit different style of defense that uh, BYU is than, than we saw last week in terms of their, uh, you know, give you some more odd spacing and some of the stunts and different things that they do are, are a little bit more unique to them. But, um, you know, we just got to, focus on ourselves and go out and play better. And I think every every position group can say that, and so that's what we're looking forward to trying to do. How did your quarterbacks do in practice this week? I did not well. Yeah, did well. plan is still to play all three of them? Pardon? The plan is still to use all three of them? Yeah, we're not going to talk a, a lot about it until we have a plan in place and we won't announce a starter, so nothing's really changed uh, for Monday. Uh, Curry and Beck flashed a lot during the game. Um, who? Beck. Travion Beck. Yeah. yeah. And what was your, looking back on a film, what, what, what was your evaluation of him? I did a good job in the coverage game. Um, you know, he's not the biggest guy in the world, so in the run game, when he's got to play on the slot, you know, where we play him in nickel, he's got to do some things to help set the edges and maybe beat a guy with quickness. Um, but he did some good things. We just got to have him continue to, you know, be consistent. Did he do the, did he beat those guys with his quickness? Uh, at times, yeah. Mm -hmm. Did a nice job in the, like uh, the first interception Jalen Hawkins had. He did a really nice job, a, a low shoulder cut on the in breaking route and forced the. You know, it was a contested ball and then got tipped and Jalen picked it. So he had uh, that was a really nice play by Travion there. Yeah.
coach, playing on the road in general is always a different experience than playing at home. But now that you guys are going not only on the road, but to someone else's season home opener, how does that kind of change the, the dynamics, especially for the new guys? What have you told them about kind of settling down and um, treating it as a game? Yeah, uh, it's preparation is the most important thing. And uh, we know that it's going to be a great environment. And we've worked some, uh, you know, snap count things, silent count. But that's what it is, you know. I mean, the, uh, you know, acknowledge the fact it's going to be a great environment. The night game at their home opener, and it'll be uh, you know, exciting for them. But we're we're really just concerned with how we prepare, and then go out and ultimately execute. That's what the focus is. Do you prepare any differently for the altitude there? I mean, there's science behind all that. You'll, they're going to feel some maybe a little dry mouth, but there's plenty of oxygen, and we work out. So again, I, they're not going to move the stadium. The altitude is what the altitude is. You know, that's so. Good. Yeah. Thanks, All right. Coach. Thanks. Alrighty. Alrighty.